previously. I want to activate this card for the very first time in Progression Series history on Progression Series Season 2. Oh, you unbanned it! I unbanned oh, it, buddy! It took you long God. enough to figure it out! Sure, and clean Jesus. this one yeah, up. Easy! Up, Holy smoke! I'm like, Graceful Charity, it's too good. It's too good. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, We'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Gage, didn't expect to be back in the judgment so soon here, simply because we wanted to reserve it just for the beginning of like a new era of Yu-Gi-Oh, but there's some things we were talking about, there's some things that people in the comments have been discussing, and uh, I think it's time we uh, Hall of Fame another card, don't you? I agree. I think the idea of having it for er every era was a good idea. But the problem is, is that's actually so far away from 5D yes. still. So if we yes. wanted to make this change, we'd be waiting a couple months at least. At so least. I figured, you know what? We could bring back the Judgment Hall of Fame some cards like we used to. You know, like the good old days, Progression Series 1. Yeah. Speaking of good old days, Alex, why don't you tell the people what we had enough of today? Uh, we have decided, and I think you as the fans have decided as well, that we are going to Hall of Fame Imperial Order. <laughs> uh, out of all the other cards, like, there's a bunch of shit that's unfair. But IO is just one of the most debilitating, like, worst cards of all time. I think even, like, with Modern Yu-Gi-Oh, we obviously know this too. And yeah, some people may want some of the other DM staples banned, but in all fairness, I don't think they pale in comparison to IO. So I think this is a uh, collectively good hit that we've all come to a consensus on. <laughs> this isn't the only thing we're going to change with our format too, actually, bringing back the judgment for this, but we've also got something else that we wanted to switch up a little bit. Alex, I'll let you tell them about it. Yeah, I think it's fitting that I'm the one discussing it since I'll be discussing it in two minutes after watching this, but we decided that on the wheel, we're going to change the wild card comment slice to the wild card promo slice and there's some theory behind this because we're introducing a lot of cards into progression series season two that we never had access to before and gage brought up a good point where the promo cards which are cards maybe released in tins or as like promos for specific products like video games are never really going to have their time to shine because but by the time they're reprinted they're going to be completely worthless to us and so gage i mean you can go ahead and discuss your theory about that uh with some examples sure a couple things that we were talking about was like the promo emotional products from games. One of the most iconic cards of the GOAT format series is something we didn't get to play with for another season of progression series. That's Sinister Serpent. Yep. Uh, Sinister Serpent, we would be able to have access to it with the promo slice on the wheel now. Uh, we decided to replace the common from the wheel as well because we figured that was the one that legitimately gave no incentive, <laughs> right? Like rares right. are sometimes okay because you can right. plug in for three ofs and stuff, but commons, you might as well have gotten enough. Right. So we figured, we figured we'd replace that promo slice, give access to cards like Sinister Serpent or even something like Hymera Tech Fortress Dragon, which if we unban Cyber yeah. Dragon would be a very important counterplay to that card. So I think it would uh, bring light to a lot of cards that we haven't been able to see before. And another thing to note is that the other wild cards like Starlights and stuff will not be able to get you any of these promo cards. You have Correct. to specifically get them on the promo slice of the wheel or snatch stealing them from each other. Yes, and so obviously with the other wild cards of specific rarities, they retroactively apply to commons anyway. So if you pull a rare wild card, you can still pick a common. So you're not really missing much. It's just like we're replacing that slice with something better because we wanted to make the wheel more OP piece you guys complain about it so no buddy doubt. i'm ready to get into today's episode if you are let's do it let's do it let's do it Damn, last episode was a blowout. Imagine losing after you resolve Confiscation Trap Dust Shoot turn one. That's gotta be backbreaking for anyone, but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in the winner circle with a modified wheel as per the judgment. We decided to change the wild card common to wild card promo to introduce some of the other cards into the game that we actually don't really have an opportunity to get, or it's like well past their prime when they get reprinted, that they really wouldn't be relevant. All of the other wild cards 
cards include the ability to get a common anyway. So this actually spices the wheel up a bit and uh, it's potentially we could actually see this today. So let's spin the wheel, see what we're going to get for our reward and hope it's going to be something good. He got back to back Starlight Rares a few episodes. We got to be able to beat that. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Another unbanned ticket. Oh, goody, goody, goody. We don't get to use this until the start of next episode, but the fact we get to bring something back is OP as fuck. So let's throw it over to Gage so we can tell you all about today's set, Duelist Pack, Zane Truesdale. Slaughter. Massacre. Demolition. These are just some of the words that come to my mind after last week's game. Alex gave me an absolute beating, bro, and I gotta get back at him. We decided to push the limits of our deck building with cards like Diamond Dude, but maybe we gotta go back to what we know. We'll find out when we get the deck building segment, but we got a lot to get through with Duelist Pack number four. Remember the other week we opened three and five? That's because the release of these Duelist Packs were a bit strange. Four releases on its own, uh, March 7th, 2007. And with it comes a very much needed reprint for the game that we unfortunately will not be able to get to use, and that is Cyber Dragon. Even though since this card is a rare, we're going to have easy access to it in this duels pack, Alex is the only person that has two copies of it right now. Effectively, we both be able to get three at the end of these 30 packs, but I still want to see it forbidden because I earned that ban, bro. I earned it. So Cyber Dragon is the main forefront of the reprint of the set here, but unfortunately, we get no value out of it. Power Bond is a pretty cool rare print as well when we want to start pairing things with Cyber Twin, Cyber End, and you know, Chimera Tech Overdragon is not too shabby either. The ultra rares of the set literally do nothing, bro. I don't think I've ever read Infernal Dragon in my life. Wow, yeah, that card's atrocious. That's that's really that bad. And then beyond that, the super rares are just as worthless too. It seems like a lot of the hollows in this set really don't stack up. But the commons, however, are very strong. Just to name a few, Creature Swap, Future Fusion, Mystical Space Typhoon, Call of the Haunted major players right there in the common slot that we're going to be able to buff out. Alex has had the lead with Creature Swap and his Recruiter Strats recently, but maybe we can pull something back now having it in a common print. Space Typhoon at 3 is also something amazing to have. I have to see where it's at in the format right now with the current ban list. But hey, having a couple uh, Spell Trap removals to add to the mix, not bad. And then Future Fusion may not be incredible right now, but in the future, the fusion will be broken. I'm excited. Not a really big set today, but perhaps a lot that we can screw around with to make something work. First things first, got a couple packs of Champion Pack 2. Never upset to open this Champion Pack because there's a couple great super rare reprints in it that I would not mind getting my hands on. So let's see if maybe we can nab the first Magician of Faith in the Progression Series history in our three packs of Champion Pack 2. Pack number one, Terra, Big Bang Shot, and Happy Lover. Those are, none of those are good. Uh, second one is a Book of Tayu. Okay, I'm still not happy. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. We got another shot at it and came up a little bit short. Ceasefire is okay, I guess. Whatever. Feeling a little bit zany? Let's open 30 packs of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 30 packs of Duelist Pack Zane. There are a few cards that are actually worth getting in here. Let's flip up pack number one and see if we get any of them. And uh, I'm not so happy about this. I've had Creature Swap throughout most of the series, and now Gage is most likely going to have a playset. Funny enough, we pulled the Ultra Rare of the pack, but this card is terrible. Second pack in, though, extremely happy for this one, Cyber Twin Dragon. We missed this in Cybernetic Revolution, but now Cyberstein has a much stronger target in this card. This is 5,600 direct damage. I'm looking to pull Cyber End Dragon as well, because while it may not do as much damage, if Gage has a Defender, we can actually get the 4,000 Piercing in, which is significant, depending on the board state. Also, Return Soul. I love how I'm getting all the Hollows, even though they don't really matter all that much. Well, asking you shall receive, and I guess the hollow luck continues because there's a second Infernal Dragon. Where the fuck was this luck on Duelist Pack, Aster Phoenix, or Jaden when I needed Mally, Deidre, or Card Trooper? I have two of the same Ultra in the first three fucking packs. Finally, some good fucking spell and trap removal. Mystical Space Typhoon at common in this pack. Now, remember, this card is still limited because we abide by the ban list that was out during the time of whatever pack we're opening. So even though we'll most likely get a play set of this, I can only play one of it, but this is a godsend because holy shit, just playing with Dust Tornado has been rough, and later on, once we get access to multiple copies, when they start slowly coming off the ban list, we're gonna have a full playset. Funny too, because Call the Haunted's in here, but it's banned. And speaking of banned cards, there is Cyber Dragon. You guys can thank Gage for that one. Also excited to see Limiter Removal. This was a super rare in Pharaoh's Servant, and uh, we might actually play this today, so uh, happy to get this copy of it, even though it is limited. 30 packs, duels pack four. Zane Truesdale looking for the common cards like the Creature Swap right in the front. Different Dimension Capsule's kind of sick, and the Cyber Barrier Dragon is the rare. Call of the Haunted, pretty sure that's my first copy. Pretty sure the card's at one as well. But hey, when it goes back to three much later on, and a deck like Insector, like maybe that we took to pilot later on in Season 1, this will come up. Wow, what a pack. 
Fusion Fusion Creature Swap Overload Fusion, and the Cyber Laser Dragon. Beautiful. That's the first MST coming up. Seven packs in. Uh, third Overload Fusion, I'm pretty sure, and then the Power Bond finally coming through. Super Rare Ruthless Denial. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Send a monster we control to the graveyard and one random card in our opponent's hand. That card sucks. Another super rare return soul, I swear. The, the pull luck on the hollows in this pack has been ridiculous. And it continues with a super rare ruthless denial. This is unbelievable. Three infernal dragon, are you fucking kidding me? And cyber dark dragon, why not? Let's just get more hollows. This is, this is actually just unreal. Oh, an ultra rare. We got an ultra rare. The infernal dragon just talked about how bad this card was. <laughs> Man, 2000 attack dragon, he's not too impressive, but another call of the haunted and a creature swap is something I'll take any day of the week. All right, I think that's everything actually now. Um, that's like my second Cyber Dragon, so I still could round out with a third, but almost halfway through. I've literally completed everything I need from Duel's Pack 4. That marks my third Mystical Space Typhoon. The last pack, we ended up getting our third Creature Swap, as well as a third Call of the Haunted. Pretty much everything I could ask for. Oh, Super Rare Fusion Guard, bro. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be fusing anything to counterspell it. <laughs> Anyways, third Cyber Dragon coming in, it is completed. You don't need to know what's in the rest of these 13 packs, it literally doesn't matter. Another Infernal Dragon. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Whatever, three more packs, anything in the close here, double call the haunt. That's at least like 20 of them. Uh, one less pack. All right, cool. Like I said, really got everything I came here to do. Three creature swaps, the three space typhoons, the three Call of the Haunteds, and the three future fusions for good measure. Put it in the collection. Let's get building. So I think this rounds out the playset of MST. I will have to double check, and obviously it's not relevant right now, but I'm happy that we secured it because still seven packs left. It was possible maybe we only got away with two. This does get reprinted a lot, though, so we would have gotten it eventually. I've also completely forgotten to talk about Cyber Phoenix. This is quite relevant because Cyber Phoenix is like a another card that just gets you another card. Like, you know how the recruiters will get you another monster to the field? Cyber Phoenix just gets you a card. And so Machine Aggro, as a result of this set, yeah, we don't have Cyber Dragon. You can still have the foundation of a sort of shell like that, and we may be exploring that today. This has to be the most absurd duelist pack luck of all time. I have pulled four fucking ultra rares, three of which were the same, and now a damage polarizer on top of it. This is actually just rigged. Only a few packs left, ladies and gentlemen. I think I think we got everything we could have asked for and more if I'm being completely honest. Uh, last pack here, anything that matters? I don't think so. So we have a lot of fun in deck building to get to, so I'm excited to play this one out. As much as people don't want me to play Chaos again, I feel like this is the most sound strategy we have until maybe next set. Maybe next set. We get Force of the Breaker, Rise of the Storm Monarch. We can maybe revisit Monarchs then, but I do think Chaos in some variant is going to be our best shot, especially with cards like Blackluster, Soldier, Chaos, Sorcerer. I um, feel like we can't lose with it. I decided to cut the Diamond Dude Turbo aspects with Malicious and D-Draw. It was fun and high rolly. You know, we got to hit the D-Draw and draw two. It felt nice and we got to laugh, but it's definitely not the best variant. I think this variant with the Pyramid Turtles and the uh, Tomato, as well as the Ryu Koki and the Vampire Lord, paired on top of that. Now that we have Creature Swap, it all kind of ties together well. This was something that Alex was trying a little bit ago, but I think now that we both have it, it seems to be in the cards for me. I'd like to give this a shot with a upgraded Chaos pool in the form of, like I said, Black Luster, Chaos Sword, Breaker. All these cards are so much better than what Alex had before. Pile it up with better staples like Vortex, Snatch Deal. Can't lose. I feel really good about this. Good old Chaos never gets old. I'll keep playing it until Sork and BLS get banned. Give it another shot. Good luck, Alex. So I did mention there was a realistic possibility we explore the machine shell we get as a result of Cyber Phoenix. And I gotta be honest, I got fucking lucky. This was a common. I only pulled two of this card. I got a third one from Enemy of Justice as a super rare rounding out our playset. So thankfully, as a result of that, we get to play three of this card. But Machine Aggro was a deck that started to take shape around this time. And so I feel like I want to give it a shot. Obviously, we don't have Cyber Dragon, so that really hinders like what this deck is able to do. We also only have one card trooper, so we can't go like troop dupe scoop any of those shenanigans, but we can still take advantage of what this engine is trying to do, which is every card just gets you another card, and that's what made it so powerful. So let's do the card by card speaking, which one card trooper, triple cyber phoenix. This card not only draws you a card when it's killed by battle, it also, while in attack position, negates any spell or trap effects that target one machine monster you control and no other cards. That means cards like Drillroid or Dekoichi or Jinzo will actually be protected if we have a cyber phoenix on the field, making them a little bit more difficult to kill. For instance, Sakuretsu armor actually is a 
card that targets. So if Gage is playing that, we can use Cyber Phoenix to protect stuff like Droid. Obviously, Jinzo negates traps, but more so Droid more than anything else, or any of our other machines that are up. And again, it just draws us a card. So we can actually go UFO Turtle, which is also a machine, have it get destroyed into Cyber Phoenix, and this will also draw us a card. So it's just a constant stream of advantage. 1600 defense is also slightly large in this format, which can actually come up. We do have Cyber Stein, which, fun fact, is a machine, and we're using Mystic Tomato to float into this. We have two Dekoichi, only have two, otherwise I'd play three. Two Droid to deal with defenders. I know Spirit Reaper's been a problem, even though it's limited. Droid can make quick work of Spirit Reaper, no problem, and any other defenders that Gage may have. Jinzo is, of course, a machine, so we're going to play him. We're also on the Scientist, because Scientist is fun. Uh, there are some instances where, like, Steam Gyroid is a machine, so that's pretty cool. I also forgot to mention, with Cyber Stein, we can uh, go into stuff like Cyber Twin Dragon or Cyber End Dragon, which are both machines as well. We've got three Mystic Tomato for uh, primarily Sangen or Snipe Hunter or Spirit Reaper, but we can also go into Cyber Stein if we see the line for the OTK. We're running double Thestalos as well because we want to have ways to trigger Last Will, and there were some decks during this time that were using the machine aggro as sort of a shell for Monarchs, and we don't have like Zaborg or Ryza, so Thestalos is the only one we can really use, and to be fair, Thestalos is still pretty good. It's just a giant dude. And then we have the three UFO Turtles. Haven't really seen much of this card, but very happy that we pulled more copies of it in uh, the reprint set. I believe it was one of the Dark Beginning sets, and so we get to take advantage of it because we can float into something like Cyber Phoenix and keep the constant stream of advantage going. Then for the spells, we have Brain Control, a good aggro card, but also just good for tributing any of our big dudes. Comfy, Dark Hole, Giant Trunade, Graceful Charity, Last Will. We are playing the one limiter removal because there's a lot of instances where any monster on the field plus limiter equals game. For instance, Cyber Stein plus limiter removal will equal game if actually Cyber Twin or Cyber End connects. Imagine summoning Cyber End and limiter removaling for like 8,000 attack that's piercing. That's just ridiculous. But in a less optimistic scenario, we could double the attack of Droid, which goes to 32. We could double the attack of Jinzo, making it 48. So this is a card that can just win us a game out of nowhere. And yeah, it's a bit win more, but at the same time, it could win a lot of games that we otherwise would lose. So we're going to play it. Of course, we have to play the one MST now that we have it in our collection. Pot of Avarice still haven't resolved this card and probably never will. Pot of Greed and Premature Burial. And then the traps, we have Ring of Destruction, Triple Saku, and Triple Trap Dust. I'm just wanting to be as aggro as possible, keep the monsters out of Gage's hand so we can just keep hitting in and getting in for damage. Then for the side deck, we have Cyber Jar as well as Morphing Jar. These are just good aggro cards because in the instance we run low on gas, we can just flip these up. And in the instance of Cyber Jar, wipe the field. But in both cases, we're going to get to draw five, essentially. A second Snipe Hunter in case Gage is playing a more control-oriented deck, so we want to have more ways to deal with this stuff. I'm playing a small warrior package of two Exile Force, Warrior Lady, and Rhoda in case I just need more ways to like deal with established monsters because I'm a bit light on proactive removal in this deck. And so we could like swap these out for like Dust Shoots and like one other card potentially. Book is sort of like a weird one because it's not like a super aggressive card, but it's very flexible. So I still want to have it in the side. Double Smashing if I want more removal and like in the form akin to like Exile Force or Warrior Lady without committing to a normal. I still have the Dusts in the side in case we need more spell and trap removal, but Gage has just not been playing back road at all for the most part, except for like two cards. So I don't even think I need to main deck these anymore. And if he decides to pivot back to Monarch, we have Triple Pulling the Rug, which is infinitely better than Bottomless Trap Pull. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's a lot of fun to be able to actually play like a machine aggro shell in progression because Cyber Phoenix was so difficult to acquire in the previous series. And uh, if you didn't get limiter removal in Pharaoh's Servant, you were shit out of luck. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. So, Gage, uh, you want to tell me how many Call the Haunteds are in your deck? <laughs> Bro, uh, <laughs> you don't have to call me out like that, man. I literally <laughs> almost queued up today with Call the Haunted in my deck, thinking I was so slick. I was like, look at this card at one. Now I get it. But then you're like, oh, that card's banned. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Weren't no. you wondering why I haven't been playing it this whole time? <laughs> I just I, I just happen to think you never drew it or anything. I forgot uh, the card existed. Fair. That is fair. I guess, like, it's a one of, so that could have technically happened over the course of the last 10 episodes. The funny part is, you banned it. So I thought you would remember, but <laughs> in any case, it's fine. Uh, another Duelist pack come and gone. This one's actually kind of fun because half the cards are actually playable. Mm -hmm. uh, another half aren't because you banned Sidra. But how are you feeling about your polls overall? Honestly, like, like you said, man, half the common cards are just good playables to get like yeah. creature swap no. mst you know a future future
fusion later on down the line. There's all yeah. these really good common cards in this set. And the rares too, you know, Cyber Dragon, even yep. back day, monumental reprint for the game. Absolutely. So, yeah, for sure. I, I am a bit fuming that you get access to Creature Swap. Even though you may not use it, I did enjoy having that advantage over you for the time being. But that's the fun of Prog Season 2, right? We have to adapt our strategy and have to always keep ourselves on our toes. I'm excited to see what next duels packs have like for really good reprints. I feel like the last two that we've done, you know, with Astral Phoenix and stuff, these duels packs are starting to stack up to be really, really big, actually. I Yeah, for sure. I will say this now because this doesn't really spoil anything. I pulled like four or five Ultras in this set, and I'm like, <laughs> that could have been two Mallys and three D-Draws, or three D-Draws, or three Mallys, two D-Draws. Nice That's what I meant. I was Infernal livid. Dragon. <laughs> livid. Yeah, four <laughs> Infernal Dragons, by the way. Uh, it's just fucking unbelievable. But, but what can you say? That's Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's shout the patrons. Sophie, apparently, thank you for the support. Come on, let's win that Rock, Paper, Scissors. Nice. Fuck! All right. All right, Alex. Well, what big you do, buddy? decision, bud. Big decision. I still honestly don't know the bet of this. I don't either. On, bro. I been, we've been how many weeks into the season two so far? <laughs> this, this is like episode, I think we're almost on episode 30, and we still don't know if going first or second's correct. A lot of the times, besides last time, it's been down to the wire, so I think the extra yeah. card always comes up. I still am going to think going second, man. That extra card is too good. Okay. So we'll see okay. how it works. We'll have to see. And uh, this is the first time we're not playing with Imperial Order. So it's definitely going true. to be an interesting episode. That for is sure. true. All right, buddy. I do not get a draw. I will go to main phase one. I will set one in the front, two in the back, throw it to you, and on your ah, draw that's phase. That's a Let's good look. Let's take a look at what you're having, buddy. Hey, man. Let's I'm, see. Let me say, I'm really glad you can only pick monsters because you get a good look of green in this hand, bro. Take a gamble. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can we go back? Can we actually reban it? or re-unban Imperial Order. That would be pretty <laughs> nice. That Fuck. Oh, my God. All right. So, Kaiku, Book, Pot, which basically invalidates this whole thing. Oh, my God. This is just disgusting. Uh, Exiled Force, Vortex. I completely misspelled Confiscation, but I don't care. Well, I get a choice of two cards here. I think... Most likely, Exiled Force is going to be the send back. I kind of figured as much. All right. We'll throw him back here. Okay. Okay. Also spelled Kaiki, not Kaiku. You really tried, bro. I, I <laughs> as did. you typed, bro, confistication. I'm gonna fist you here, bro. Let me get a look <laughs> at this list. Oh, that's not going. That's gonna be in Joseph's stream. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, your choice is premat oh, or drillroid. Drillroid in the main deck. Intriguing. That's funny. You could just premat back the drillroid if I send it. I'm gonna just dump your premat. That seems like I. Guess I, I think premat's choice. the better card anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me get a look at two more. Yep. All right. You know uh, what? I think, if anything, this is redemption for last episode when you dust shooted, confied me, and then completely 180 <laughs> the situation. So. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to Thunder Dragon. We'll pick up two more of him. Okay. Wish you would have drawn two off the pot. That's fine. Okay. What could this face down card be? So you have Drillroid in your main deck. I'm very confused. I will throw down a lovely Azura Priest. Okay. So Azura Priest, Double Thundra, Book, Lightning Vortex, Kaiku. I think I know your whole hand. All right. Cool. That's easy. All right, battle phase. Let me hit a recruiter. Let me get lucky. I'm going to sack this. Oh, and I'm okay with that. All right, no problem. Uh, I'll go main two. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Drill. <laughs> I'll just set literally any card in the game, and I'll pass over to you. Okay, so book set. I'll draw main one. All right, so Kaiku, Vortex, Double Thundra, and book. That's kind of annoying, to be honest. It also sucks because you have Thundra to just pitch for Vortex. So you got a lot of good value off of that. I'm just going to flip Mystic Tomato. Oh, it was a recruiter. Okay, that's fine. Hit for 14. I'll take it. No problem. And I will just pass. Okay, I will draw. Damn, I mean. All right, Mr. Tomato. Um, I don't want to throw this Kaiku down because if I do and you crash into it, I actually can't banish your tomato, which that's not a huge deal, but like it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's not a sure priest. You have a Drillroid hand. What's the stats on Drillroid? Could you tell me? 16, 16. If I know Drillroid's the only other card in your hand, I could waste this and it's not that big of a deal. You get a nag to kill the tomato? It kills the tomato, but it stops the loop. And that's a big thing. That's true. I also don't think you'll ever play in this lightning vortex. So it's essentially dead. I'm going to use it. Okay. I'll vortex get rid of it. And then uh, I will Kaiku and we'll poke you for 18 and banish the tomato. Sure. I'll get rid of him. Okay. I'll go main two. I'll add a set card in the mix and it's your turn. All right. So we have an unknown. So that means the last card in hand has to be Thunder Dragon. So main one, I know that you have book set, which is kind of annoying. I'm just going to set one and throw it to you. Ah, sounds good to me. I'll draw. Stay my main. Yep. I'll just go battle. Yeah, yeah, 18's good. Cool. I'll just pass it over to you, bud. Okay. I'll draw. Not ideal. Didn't play anything. 
I'm gonna get a look. Let's see what the new card is. Oh, you're curious. All right, it's a pretty good one. It's uh, a lovely Mobius. Okay, uh, we'll get rid of him. I figured you might. Yeah. All right. I'll be honest, I don't think it changes too much. Life's getting a bit low, sadly. I do have to deal with this. I'm going to run out scientist. Okay, well, I mean, you kind of forced my hand here, I guess. I am gonna have to book it. I was gonna say, I can, I have enough life that I can take out Kaiku one way or another. So it's happening no matter what. I'll just throw one down, throw it back. Okay, uh, I'll drop. Stand by me. Yep. I'll true need it back. Okay. Cool, and then I'll follow it up with tomato. Sure. Let's get in there. Tomato 14, and then 18, 18 from Kaiku, and then I'll banish the scientist. Go on. All right, Mr. Drillroy, let's see if you can get it done. Your move. We'll draw. Uh, not looking too hot, I'll be honest. Uh, so you got tomato. Tomato can just float. I'll set one, and then I'll set one, two. Throw it back. I will draw. Stand my main. Big break. Sure. We'll break this one. The one closest to your deck, because it won't let me pick it. <laughs> closest to my deck. Um, let's just go to game two. You got it. it sounds like a play. Well, that uh, was pretty convincing on your end, I'll be honest. I, my hand was just not coming together. I had just so many cards that would have been good, like, mid-game, and uh, yeah, it just it was not happening. You just, just kept drawing good monster after good monster and just ran me over, so. I'll go second. It seemed like it worked out pretty well for you. I think maybe uh, we're slowly starting to figure out the strat. Best of luck, buddy. Best of luck, bud. Let's see if it works out for you. I'll go stand by main. Sure. I'll start with the humblest of tea sets, and I'll follow it up with a Thunder Dragon. Pick up two sure. more copies of it. Looking handsome. Yes, sir. All right. Four cards in hand. The perfect amount for a dust shoot. Your turn, bro. <laughs> you have the dust shoot? I I don't have it. You're good, actually. Oh, okay. Said the perfect amount, so I was curious. Uh, main one. I like your play, so I'm going to go set one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Calm down. Run. Oh, my God. Okay, draw. Stand by. You have the dust shoot. I do not. <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. Main phase one. All right. Uh, using my turn player priority, I will tribute my Witch of the Black Forest to summon Mobius the Frost Monarch. He's tough. All right. So obviously you're going to be targeting here with Mobius. What are you going to be targeting? All right. Chain link one witch because I have to. It's mandatory. And chain link two yep. Mobius will go for the two outside ones. How about that? You can keep the middle. <laughs> Fucking course. That's so annoying. Yeah. Congrats. It's double sack. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, bro. Easy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you my. That is so fucking irritating. Oh my god, bro. Now watch this, man. Nice recruiter. I'm gonna compulse it back to hand. You got to eat your witch search. Hello. Oh my excuse me. Mandatory effect, by the way. <laughs> yeah, mandatory effect. I will bounce matter. this back to hand while you're while you're doing your witch search. It's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Double sack. <laughs> um so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh my god. You have one Mobius too on top of it. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yep, I sure do. <laughs> Man, which of the Black Force, bro? This card was really banned for so long, and I'm starting to realize why. Like, <laughs> like the pool gets so much bigger, like, every, like, month You didn't passes. realize after Prague Season 1 why this card was yeah, banned? Yeah, and I was like, it could totally come back. But now, now that I can yeah. search any of these Monarchs, I got Snipe Hunter, Breaker, I can even pick up. It's, it's and to be fair, Sangan can get Snipe Hunter. But yes, Breaker, you cannot get with Sangan. All right, sorry it took me a minute to figure it out there. Uh, I had to see what was the best option. I think Breaker's actually a really solid one. I am going to pick Yeah, Breaker's breaker. pretty good. Cool. And then I will go uh, Battle Phase 24. Ring him. That's why I'm also pissed Okay, <laughs> okay yes. <laughs> like, at fun. least if you targeted the ring, this wouldn't have been that big of a deal. I'll just pass to you, go ahead. Oh, great. Game two. Uh, game three, Cyberstein. What? Is that it already? <laughs> yeah, we got Cyber Twin, motherfucker. Oh, Jesus my Thunder. God, game bro. Three. Gee, did, did you rip it too? You are a stinker. <laughs> oh, no, I had it enhanced. Oh, turbo. <laughs> that is so smelly. Yeah, let's go to game three. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Alex, I've seen a few magical scientists in my days here, but I've yet to be Cyberstein OTK. So you're the first to ever do it to me, man. Nice Cyber Twin. You, nice yeah, Cyber Twin. Yeah, I was twin. telling you during uh, sideboarding, if I did not have Cyber Twin from this episode exactly, you were safe because Master of Oz is 42 and Stein's only seven. So that's 4,900. You would have had 700 left. So thanks, Zane Truesdale. I appreciate the Cyber Twin and, Dragon. And you wanted me to unban the regular Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Jeez, couldn't imagine. I tried. I tried. I tried. All right. All well, right. Uh, went pretty well for you, bro. I can't get OTK'd if I'm going second, so uh, let's see how it works, okay? Show I me mean, what you, you got. I mean, you can get OTK'd on the following turn. Yeah, on turn but three, but at least he'll yeah. get there. Okay, good luck. That is true. Uh, best of luck, buddy. Main one. Uh, 
this is fine, I guess. It's not great. Uh, let's go set one, two, three. This is going to be very reminiscent okay. of uh, game one. Go ahead. Right. I'll draw. Stand by main. Sure. Reminiscent of game one, it is, my friend. Pot agreed. Uh, not. <laughs> I did not want to see that reminiscent <laughs> aspect of game one, but I have no response since IO is banned. Yeah. It sure is. I'll take two off the top. Like, Pot of Greed is crazy, but even it's, I still feel like it pales in comparison to IO. <laughs> it, uh, po IO is fierce, bro. I'm going to yeah. do my Thunder Dragon here. As always, okay. all three games, lovely to open the one of him. Unfortunate for me, but that's fine. So now you have uh, eight cards in yeah, here. Yeah, hands are getting a little <laughs> crowded. Um, I'll set a card, and then I will set between your columns here. Look at that. Three. It's um, playing around the imperm. You know how I get. All right, bro. Go for it. Let me see. All right. Uh, anything stand by? Nope. You're good. All right. Main one. Let's see. I know you have like Witch, Sangan. Like you have just a bunch of crap that it could be. I guess I'll try. Why not? Uh, let's flip up UFO Turtle. Okay. That's totally fine. Yes. Normal Reaper. Yeah, okay, that's fine. See if we can clear. At the start of the battle phase, I'll flip up Threatening Roar, actually. On the T-Roar, huh? Okay, sure. Uh, we go to main two, then. I have an additional back row, and I will pass it to you. All right, all right. Uh, you should be scared, bro. I'm going to draw. Okay. Standby phase, anything? No dust shoot. You're good. Hot main phase one. Let's I would have flipped that shit as fast as possible. I figured one. you might. I figured you might. Let's get gaming here. Similar to game two now. I'm seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of crossover. I'm going to tribute Witch of the Black Forest for... Uh, Mobius the Frost Monarch. And, uh, again. Not similar to game two. I'm gonna pulling the rug Mobius. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Get fucking ready! Yo! Oh my god! Outplayed! Where's your seven tools, buddy? Where's your seven wait tools? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you do that? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, you can. It is yes, an effect that oh, activates. Which has to be chain link one, two. I couldn't even chain block it. Yep, if you could chain block it, I cannot pulling the rug. But the I way this works, though. it works perfectly in my favor. So Mobius falls. You do still get your witch search, so that's a consolation prize. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> pulling the rug. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> Figure you saw in the monarchs. I gotta bring these bad boys in from the side. Alright, who do I pull up? Uh, off the witch, I'm gonna pick up a pyramid turtle, actually. Okay, sure. Lightning vortex. I will pitch thunder Ooh. dragon. Okay, I was really hoping you didn't have vortex. Yeah, I was feeling yeah. really good about that hand. Yeah, and it would have been even better if that Mobius went through too. But that's okay. I feel pretty alright still. Got the rug pulled underneath me, but I should be okay. Go ahead, your turn. So I know you have Turtle Thundra in hand. And Correct. Three cards I do not know the identities of. Interesting. All right. Uh, main phase one. I will just run out Tomato. Sure. Try to hit for 14. Uh, he's tomating. That's fine. I don't even think that's a word. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll draw. Stand by me. <laughs> to be fair, we sort of add ING to the end of everything, like Joseph adds Ussy to the end of everything. <laughs> that's true. That's true. It's the, it's the gimmick of this series. <laughs> I'll set a card, and I'll just pass. Go ahead. Okay. Draw. So it's probably turtle. I will just check to see if that is the case. It's turtle. Okay. Uh, second main, then, in that case, I will set one. I'll throw it to you. Okay. I will draw. Damn my main. I'll just throw another one down and I'll pass it to you. Go ahead. And there's the second turtle. All right. I'll draw. Uh, main one, I'll flip to Koichi. Draw another one. Yep. Not in much of a rush. Uh, let's go battle. Let's try mm -hmm. to Koichi into the new one. It's a turtle. Excellent. I actually <laughs> called it. That's hilarious. Uh, second main, I'll set a pair. One in the front, one in the back. Over to you. All right. Board's getting a little clogged. I can't clear these fucking turtles. You can't. 1,400. Just base stat line, bro. Yep. I'll add a set card to the mix, and I'll just pass it again. Okay. I'll draw. Bad. Main one. Well, uh, I can try to clear these turtles. I'll sack a Sangan for a Thestalos. Oh, the Los. Okay, yeah, he's good. So Sangen 1, Thestalos 2, if that's fine. That's going to be fine, yep. Okay, so let's hopefully not rip the Thunder Dragon. God damn. Mm. It's my Sukiyomi. Okay, uh, not bad. Take it. And then Sangen search. I mean, I'll take hot 400. You will, because you take 100 per level, which is fine by me. Uh, Now I got to think. I'm going to grab Card Trooper. Okay. A way to kill the turtles so uh let's try to go to battle here i'm gonna try to kill a turtle that's fine you can get rid of one of them i'll trigger it that's fine all right off the turd i'll pick up a uh a vampire lord from the deck actually Ooh. okay uh second main i'm gonna put dekoichi and mystic tomato sideways and i will just pass there okay i will draw standby phase main phase yep we're getting somewhere this vampire lord's pretty cool because it plays through all your Sakuretsus. That is true. I'll just go battle phase, actually, and I'll punch over the Dekoichi. Sure. Okay, I'll go main phase two. Fifth one to the back row. Yeah, <laughs> I wish. Um, What have I seen that you get off a UFO turtle? I actually, have I seen anything? I don't know. Have you? I don't know. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. 
All right, I'll draw. Uh, the man's smiling. You got to do uh, it. Do I get to as well? Only fair. Yep, no IO. All you're right. good. No IO. Thank God for that. Oh, okay. True Nate. I see what you're going for. It's a good thing I sided for it. Roar. Roar, huh? Okay. Sure. Okay. So these all go back. T roars pretty good, I will admit. All right, so I have a little bit of free reign here. Can't attack. All right, I think the play is I'm just going to set one and then set one, two, three. And okay. we'll chuck it back since you t roared me. And thank God True Nade's in the format because I get to dust shoot you and see everything. Oh, my God. Go figure. Uh, not much to choose from, but there you got full knowledge, which is terrifying. Yeah. That's what I'm more excited about. Okay, so we have Mr. Borg, which let's be honest, I'm probably shuffling him back. Uh, oh, <laughs> put back the Thunder Dragon. Okay, Dust, <laughs> Compulse, Compulse. I can just do times two. Brunade. I don't care about Thundra. Ah, uh, yeah, the Borg's going back. Yep, figured as much. Compulse times two is pretty strong, though. I will say. Pretty good, pretty good. It's enough to slow you down, at least. I, I can probably assume one of your cards is Stein in hand, or a way to Stein, because of that true nade push. But <laughs> I don't know how good that does me. I'll go to battle, and I'm, yep. let me just get a peek at the face down. It's card trooper. I just wanted to draw. Okay, main two. I wonder what they could be. It is it could be your literally turn. anything. <laughs> yep. Okay, <laughs> so most likely the dust and double pulse could just save true nade in hand. That's fine. All right, we'll draw. That is actually fucking infuriating. All right, main one. Let's see here. So if you want your vampire lord to live, you have to compulse my Festalos. You don't have a choice. Uh, the problem with me or with you doing that is that that means I get to rip something else out of your hand. So it sort of doesn't really solve your problem. Uh, it just buys you time, I guess. Let's try it. Uh, we'll try to take him out. Yeah, I'll compulse it back. Okay. You, do you want to tribute your tomato to rip something else? I mean, potentially. Good to me. Yeah. All right. Second main. Sure. Uh, yeah. We will get ripping. Bold. Bold. Okay. Go ahead and pick. All right. Uh, let's roll for it. Hopefully, we hit the true nade. That one. Thank God you didn't. I'm still gonna take 500, but. Oh. Okay. It happens. Uh, I don't think I've got much else. Go ahead, buddy. All right. I will draw. Standby phase, main phase. Sure. True nade. Interesting. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Nice. <clears throat> I am going to banish uh, a light in the dark, and I am going to summon Blockluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. How much is this? This is 636 plus 2 plus 12. That's not game. It's However, not game. you can't stein me past it, which is... I can't, <laughs> which is important. Yeah. Uh, I'll throw the uh, the boy Fuck. in attack here. We'll get yeah. that one. Everything All right, there. so six, then I take three, and then I take 12, and then I take 2,000. I'm very close to dead. Big. I will go main phase two. No snatch steal from you. It's your turn. Luckily for you. Okay. Main one. This is so fucking annoying. I have Dark Hole. That, the Vampire Lord comes back. You know what else I have, though, Alex? I feel so sad, bro. <laughs> yep. Compulse back That's to what I was checking for. That's <laughs> what I was checking for. Okay. So Turtle won't trigger. Uh, yeah. The Vampire Lord will come back during your... Oh, actually, we forgot Vampire Lord's mandatory effect. Oh, that's true. Um, go ahead and send yeah. a spell if you, if okay. you want to. I uh, hope you didn't I draw will, any play. I, we'll I will dump Confiscation. That's... Okay, good choice. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I'm going to need that all right and then yeah so vampire lord will come back during my standby phase. your standby phase yes 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 all right what's so difficult alex summon stein what's what's with 1200 so <laughs> 1200 life and you have bls in hand with fodder for it a vampire lord's coming back yeah i wonder what the problem is all right i got avarice oh so. that's pretty good though yeah okay yeah it's fine could be better all right so let's this is the first time i've resolved this card by the way uh i've had it since enemy of justice and i have not been able to resolve it once all right uh, I had it in the game one where you were just completely destroying me. And I had two... I know you kept banishing everything with Kaiku, which is infuriating. All right, so we're going to put back the Reaper, the... Probably the Recruiters, right? So we'll put Tomato back, Turtle back, Sangen back, and I guess both Trooper and Akoichi net me a card. Trooper can get slightly bigger, but then it's a weenie. I'm only on 1,200 life. I'll put Dekoichi back. Okay. All right, come on. Not ideal, I'll be honest. Not ideal. Well, I just got to try. Uh, run out tomato. Sure. I'll hit for 14. Yep. Second main, uh, I'll set two. And we'll throw two. I'll gamble with one of them. We'll hit this one. Is sack. Okay. Draw. Stand by main. Not well, stand by, I got to bring back. Yeah, you bring back Vampire Lord. Lord. Yep. yep. And then main. Right. 
So, I mean, best case scenario, that's another Saku for you, right? <laughs> and then I still win through that. I'll just summon Exiled Force. <sighs> yeah, that's good. Pop. Gone. Battle, two. I have a second sack, so I'm not dead. All right, so trigger. Um, That's what I thought it might be. You already dark hold, right? Yeah. I yeah. have already dark hold, sadly. What's your kill potential? I don't think you have any. It's all gone now. It was like Cyberstein, but you don't have... That's a dead card in your hand now. I think just playing this is a liability. So I'll just I'll just pass with nothing. Go ahead. <sighs> Draw. Okay, so main one. So Mr. Vamps is going to come back next standby phase. I will set one. Third to you. Draw. Stand by. Bring him on back. And then uh, I'll go to the main phase. We'll do a light and a dark. Yes, you will. Unlike Chaos Sorcerer, BLS does not have to banish face up. So I will banish your face down. Yep. Good game. I was surprised that I got a turn out of that. I'm sorry I just didn't go all in for it, but good <sighs> game. I had all monsters and just could not. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Do, yeah, I off the pot, I drew two monsters too. I was hoping for like one extra back row so that I could try to keep double sack. Potentially, maybe you would like go for BLS and attack, but you you, you sniffed out the Stein and you did have the threatening war, but uh, what was my next draw? Yeah, it wasn't. Were these, um, what does UFO turtle get? I, uh, is it another so, turtle? So yeah, it do, I mean, it does get another turtle, obviously. Uh, I was trying to play like a machine deck. Oh. Uh, Okay, Cyber okay, Phoenix yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. every card just turns into another card, basically. The recruiters turn into more monsters. The Phoenixes just draw me cards. And so didn't see Cyber Phoenix and I have three of them the entire game. But no doubt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. Uh, yeah. So like I was playing, uh, I had the freshly pulled limiter removal in here as well. So I had actually a higher kill potential than you probably thought because yes, of limiter. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Actually. Uh, so, I didn't even think of a limiter. And yeah, I think actually so, there's a lot of stuff like the Koichi and UF, UFO Turtles in Machine yep. 2. Drill Roy. Yep. Yeah. I didn't Drill Roy would be 32 right here. So I, I was... I figured tomato, I try to hit you. And if I somehow lived, I don't think I had any kill potential through that. Like even if I drew premature for uh, like car trooper and limited, it's still only 38. So I was still mm -hmm. a bit off, uh, but yeah, couldn't really pull it together. I had the sick pulling the rug early game, but I just drew too many monsters towards the end. I had three mystic tomatoes in my hand at one point. So I nice. had that one on the field. I drew one for turn. And then when I flipped the decoichi, I drew another tomato and I'm like, oh, it's you know. nice. <laughs> Definitely. What That's I how it right? goes sometimes. That's how it, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I feel like there's maybe something I could have done better. But in all fairness, I think this was a pretty good set. We got to game three and uh, there's a... The threatening war saved your ass. Yeah, I'm uh, actually happy those <laughs> came up. I put that in specifically for because I'm like, if you Stein and if you pay five for Stein, even thinking yeah. you're safe. Or like if you yeah. try to go for a push with the True Nate or hitting it with a Dust or a uh, Typhoon, I can just stop your turn right there. And yeah. if you don't have like a, an ideal second play or something like that, I can take initiative, which is big. I think one mistake I made was in side decking. I actually sided out of Scientist because I had it game one and just felt so bad. So I, I sided it out to bring in like pulling the rugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And if I had Scientist, when you had Vampire Lord first on the field, when I ran over Turtle with Thestalos, I could have crashed my tomato into your Vampire Lord to grab Scientist. That would have forced you to at least compulse it because otherwise I could have thousandized your Vampire Lord to get rid of it. Yep. So that could have forced like one of your cards at the very least. And then I still have Scientist. So like I threaten you with it every turn at that point. Yep. But Droroid's pretty good against like the defense position recruiters too. So He's like there's a lot bad. of cool stuff with the machine deck. And I see you just went back to your little uh, uh, like little monarch strat over here with chaos of course yeah well not really monarchs um it's less of the monarchs and i took out the diamond dude stuff that i was fiddling with just oh for fun. i see i replaced I see. it with just recruiters and um new star of the set creature swap as well i got a couple sure. copies of those so i was like okay. might as well give it a shot and uh i didn't get to see creature swap with it but um the goal was to use things like turtle and tomato trade them with you and then get sure. value off of them but sure um i think just even the chaos core that i have is superior to most like, of, deck of choices course you have you know sork at one which isn't even at one and black luster soldier black luster soldier banned at this point probably it is banned at this so point. Yep. yeah like this shouldn't even be possible what i'm doing right now so no but that's part of the fun of it right and at the end of the day uh i could complain about bls but i, I think that honestly the threatening war is what saved you because yep. i had true nade dark hole and then stein and you were dead. oh god that was great yeah that was yep. a wipe <laughs> i was gonna wipe the board and i had uh i had that and i also have the cyber end too in case you do have like a defender i can just pierce you this plus limiter is eight thousand. if i have this combo that's a too. lot that's so, a lot yeah it's it's a lot of otk potential out of nowhere so i figured i'd try to catch you off guard but it just wasn't enough Good games, though, buddy. Uh, you will be returning to the winner circle, but not before I get to redeem my prize for this episode. And you want to guess what that one was, buddy? Make it quick. Just tell me, tell me what it is. It was another unban ticket. <sighs> the unbanning <sighs> is returning, and oh, do I have so many good options to choose from. What will I pick? Got a few from what I remember. We'll see. I have a few. I have a few.
So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shadow1317, Moto Cameron Smith, Tim 0 x 3 MBT Play Medolce, Ika Iron Fan, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man Hoban, Synchro Guy, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Phoenix the Immortal, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretch, John Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad, MBT caught injecting his fairy lily. Matthew Brady, Max, the War Rock Investments Janitor, Valen Jackson, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say, Alpha Tribute, Benten, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, The Anti Big Brain, Ben K, OTK Play, Simping for Simo, Mike Ty, Stolfin Amethyst, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by All Committee Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The Undertaker versus CMO and MBT. Wait, play the concert video one more time. Hunter Reed, TTV Shrugs IX, Cayman CJ, ITF, to Arc Echo, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.